Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Zwift Community Live, broadcasting to you here from the Pain Cave, also known as my apartment. We're getting down to the wire here to start today's racing in the Kiss America's AM race. This is going to be your behind the scenes look at what it takes to race on Zwift. We are uh, working on uh, getting our devices paired up here. I was good to go and now I'm not. As you can see, we're working uh, with a wireless connection here. Just give me one second. I'll keep talking. I'm just going to crawl around for a bit. See what I can do about this. Not sure what the problem is. Okay, now we're good. That's always a fun way to start. So yeah, we're, we're dealing with a wireless uh, signal that is often used to uh, communicate between that looks better between bike computers and uh, uh, various like uh, data devices so sometimes you can have some trouble glad that that's all sorted out got a new Zwift update in the books we're in the A category here you're going to see a lot of riders starting up together. We're doing a reverse hilly route. So this is uh, the virtual world of Watopia. And uh, this, this is probably not the hardest, but one of the harder courses to stay with the lead bunch because this reverse climb is going to come down to about 3 minutes, 40 seconds of just full on everything you've got. Um, to stay with the front and that's going to come after uh, the first five minutes which are just going to be very very difficult uh, to stay to stay on the front bunch so we'll do our best here got all the fans going got the heart rate on my screen covered up so I can't see it you all can and uh, we're just going to hunker down and see how we go thanks Vagard for the ride on 45 seconds to go just coming off a bit of a vacation from streaming so I'm glad to be back 30 seconds to the start like I said before this is gonna be <laughs> a really tough tough um, session uh, this is a race so there are results we're all going for results, but I see some really strong riders in this group. Ten seconds to go now. Um, really difficult uh, session ahead. We're going to probably start with ten minutes at roughly 400 watts for me. I weigh 200 pounds, so you know the watts per kilo aren't that high, but we're going to be averaging about 4.3, 4.4, something like that for the first 10 minutes. It's typical of a KISS start. It's the name of the race series we're in. Just got to stay towards the front is really what it is. Not too many teammates here. I see homers here with his red hair, reddish hair. Big, big bunch. So yeah, we're going into the SEs, which are rolling hills. Uh, Bruno's in, hey Bruno. It's Barbosa here on first wheel. A 
Uh, Jerome's in too, good. It's Jerome Marriott. So again, just trying to stay in the top 20 wheels here. Because these rollers often end up stringing out the bunch. And the farther you are back, the farther you are you have to close the gap. I'm looking around. Right now the lead group has a good 75 riders. Which is a lot. From all different uh, categories. Now I'm dropping back a bit. Don't want to do that. Just pushing on. You got to just focus on the pack. Don't worry about your watts too much. It's all about positioning. So he's kept it pretty. We're steady on this climb, not too hard. Usually that's like a 500 plus watt ordeal to get up that berg. Berg is Dutch for mountain. It's not a mountain, but it's a hill. All right, going through the sprint. Again, we just had a little respite. Uh, going down that hill into the sprint. However, the uh, rollers aren't over. You can often lose the wheels here if you're being too lazy, looking for too much rest in this section. There is a slipstream effect in game. So this pack is helping me aerodynamically. The guys in the front are pushing the wind out of the way, pushing the air out of the way. And then we all behind are in this nice bubble. Here we go. Huge group. Again, I weigh like 205, 91 kilos, something like that. So the watts you see, you know, for some people that would be like five or six <laughs> watts per kilo. For me, it's a measly 3.6, because I'm heavy. So here we go, you see the gradient in the top right corner. I can feel that in my trainer, squeezing down a little bit of resistance proportional to the grade and my speed. And here I'm kind of getting caught out a little bit. We basically just go on a bump up to the bridge. And then it's falls flat all the way onto the climb. If you're not on the front, at the base of the climb, you're gonna have a lot less fun because <laughs> you're gonna have to bridge a gap. The gap's gonna get forced by lightweight guys on the 
steepest bits of the climb. So we're just rolling up. You can see a structure on the right there, building. That's Hank's gas station, usually where the festivities start. Now you can sort of see the surge coming on the sides. People trying to move up. See the watts going up, heart rate's climbing. Now it's strung out. Steep bit. Oh, of course I got a drop out. Thanks, Swift. Wasn't too bad. There's the split. Gonna stay with Kingo. Pretty happy with that. Okay, 
almost done with lap one. This guy Flexman, sandbagging. He's categorized himself as a D. He just did six watts per kilo up the whole mountain. So, not cool, guys. Breathe. You know what? You know what the rules are by now. Quite the warm up. So now we're in a group with Lookman, Ascenders team. Mr. Brown from Red Bar Cogs, and we can see the lead bunch up ahead. The key to any racing, inside or out, there's nuance of course, but the key is to let other people do the work as long as you can. This guy Flexman is Z powering it up towing us back uh, Homer if you're listening don't do that just give yourself a break because we'll all get with that group fine but then we have to go up the berg with them and they're gonna do that crazy pace again and then they're gonna do it two more times. So, we really just wanna be in our best position to, oh my gosh, to respond, not to pull. There we go. Okay, it's settled down a bit here. This is the lead bunch. See, I rode my own pace up that hill instead of what I usually do, which is do a lot of work on my own to stay with the front. And then people just towed me back. You can see how that little mini split happened. And I just wanted to be sliding past.
everybody's we get power ups at the sprint here. They're little bonuses that temporarily affect your weight, drag, whatever. If there's three of them a featherweight, uh, a drafting truck, and an aero helmet. So now we're just right in tempo. Heart rate's well down. We got three ascents of the Berg to go. Hey John, John Rich over on Facebook, saying good luck, thank you. In this section, I've said it before, I'll say it again, you gotta watch, see it's strung out right now, almost single file, then we go into these hills. That was the hills. I've seen them split the group. Before. And it's caught me out a few times. So I'm always pretty cautious. Just rolling along here, thinking about the pain to come. It's really the steep part through the alien statues where for me, I basically have to go all out sprint. That's terrible.
So I'm trying not to blow. I'm dropped. But I need to stay on the pedals. And not come to a dead stop. I got cow gum up there. Can go behind. So I have people to work with. If we come together. <laughs> brutal sport. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Yeah. Ultimate gamer. It's exactly right. Use energy too early. Mostly, actually, it's getting the heart rate too high. Once you go into the red, it takes extra skill to recover, an extra anatomical might. So I think I've avoided that. I feel okay. The guys behind have closed a huge gap. So, I think what I want now is to ride tempo and just keep pressing on the pedals. So that the boys behind have to work to catch me. But not too much energy. Basically, I don't want to put out too much energy. Yes, Ultimate Gamer, I do have to mop up my snot and sweat. The game's actually really hard on bikes. I only have one road bike and it's definitely feeling the brunt. Of the effects of this uh, hobby of mine. I think Kalgoma is just going to wait. Or you didn't see me pass. So. They caught, what's his name, he was chasing us. They're coming fast. We'll probably see him in a second. Yeah, there they are just around the corner. Quite a few in that bunch. So now they're going real fast, so I gotta accelerate to catch up with them. Just don't want them to blow right past. Let's talk about it in this section. Any falls flat, Zwift will put you in the gutter every time. Hey, you gotta be ready because now I'm just pushing the air because I can't steer myself in the group.
good sized bunch. Here, this is like the lead B group, basically. Again, here, see Zwift putting me in the gutter. It's basically that if your heart rate is high, everything's annoying. Anything you can see making you do more work is annoying. Especially if it's not caused by somebody else's attack. But those issues affect everyone in the race. So it is even. We're halfway done with this race. Got two more hill climbs to go. We're in the SEs right now. These are rollers, short little climbs. We're going into the main one right now. Oh, it's Rick Almgren. I haven't raced with him in a year at least. Cool. Hi, Rick. Rick is the Swedish rider in the bunch. Some guys really pressing on. So we'll see if they still have energy when we get to the hill. Because they've really been keeping the speed up. See what I did there? I sort of got towards the front and then took a drink. Eased off the pedals a bit. By the time I'm done, I'm just a little bit farther back in the group. Yeah, there's a huge, yeah, Notorious, this is a nuanced game because cycling's a nuanced sport. If I'm out in front, then I have to move the air out of the way. There's wind resistance. So you only want to be on the front when it really counts. If you're by yourself, you have to do all the work, whereas this blob of people shares the work so I only want to come to the front at the very end of the race and at very important points where position matters Okay, we're coming through the hills. To tell you the truth, guys, and girls watching, I don't feel very good about this hill coming up.
trying to stay at the front but not on the front if that makes any sense Okay, we're on the climb. I want to stay with Takeda Kingo up there. I know he's got legs and he's going to ride it smooth. Again, let other people work. <laughs> this isn't a very steep climb, so there's drafting still. Good job, Rick. Oh, come on, don't put me in the gutter.
Okay, we're gonna catch. That wasn't terrible. Just annoying because people were being lazy. So now they did that huge effort on the hill. We still have one hill to go and we caught them and I didn't do much. One to go. This is where the sprint is in the final lap. Just starting through here. Remember the scenery. Hey, thanks for the... No, Haley's asking if being in the gutter means off the side of the gutter. It's kind of like that. In uh, pro racing, uh, if the wind is coming from the left, the guy in front will be all the way on the right side of the road because then there's no shelter, there's no road for people to ride on and get shelter. If he was all the way on the left, they could all line up back and to the right. So in the game, watch, see how everybody's on the right? Sometimes the game will just swerve you off to the other side of the road and it looks like you aren't getting any protection from the wind. There isn't actually directional wind in the game, but it is always coming from the front. So you always wanna be behind somebody until the last second. Koba is really pushing on. And it looks like people want to chase him. So we'll let them do that. Yeah, Brian, you're right. Should watch him, but I'm pretty worried about Koba, actually. So just if you're joining us, this is a Zwift race. This is a virtual cycling platform. All the avatars you see are real people on trainers like mine. We're in the final lap of a four lap race. There's basically one hill climb per lap. This is the main chase group were way out of contention for the overall win but a lot of these guys are racing for the B category win 
We're chasing a guy up the road right now. Who's in the wrong category, but he's going hard and people are going after him. I don't even know if he's still up there, to be honest. Oh man, you called it. Towing everybody else up there. Oh, geez. Look, man, you know I don't want to race you right now. Oh, gosh. It already hurts enough. Go, man. <laughs> right away, dude. <laughs> Me too. The sender says he's suffering, yep. Me too. Only one hill to go, though. Just about there to the final hill. Guys on the front are not chasing these moves down. Koba and Vidge up the road. I missed it. <laughs> That's the move. They're going to fly. Lookman's going to come back and tow us up, right? You don't have to do anything you don't want to, senders. But look, man, those are the guys. You want to stay with them.
right, that's it. I'm dropped. My legs are roasted. Here's a pro tip for racing on Zwift. If you're on a smart trainer, turn the difficulty slider down or shift. People just come to a top of the hill over the top and their watts just fall. Then they open up gaps. Crawford right here boys back in town. I made a bridge. Here's a bridge. Everybody gets a bridge. Oh my god. Okay. A couple more turns and then we're on it. Let's let these guys chase down Ricky. Oh man, got him. All right, give me one second. Okay, there we go. All right, that's the end of the race. Um, there's results. They don't come up in the game. They're uh, posted to a website. 
swiftpower.com and you'll see there how everybody finished up hard race uh, to recap real quick we didn't go super hard out of the first um, at the beginning so we, we really didn't push it uh, getting to the climb usually there's a couple guys that'll just throw down five to six watts per kilo nice nice jersey look man uh, usually there's some guys that'll throw five to six watts per kilo pretty much all the way to the base of the climb and during the SEs, the rolling hills, that really splits up the group. Today we didn't quite have that. So as we came to the base of the climb, we probably had 70 people. And if you're not in the first like 10 wheels, uh, as people make mistakes and fall off the pace and stuff, instead of being one clump like this, the, the bunch starts to get out into a line. The longer the line is, whatever happens, you've got to make up those gaps, right? So as those gaps open up and the line gets longer and longer, elastic snaps, people have to come across. Um, it uh, makes it hard to stay in the front. And I think that's what kind of happened to me. I was able to catch back to the front uh, group, but then we still had quite a few guys going in the second climb and I just didn't have it uh, going through there. Third climb, pretty easy. What happened was there's this guy named Flexman from the UK. He was on virtual power and he really just, the guy was doing like, you know, domestic pro level watts the whole time and he registered for the D category. So something might've been wrong with his setup, but we asked him several times to stop influencing the race. He'd keep going to the front and pushing the pace. Um, and uh, that just kept happening. We kept asking him to stop doing that and he didn't. So that's also a reason that I got dropped. And then final lap, just really didn't have it in the legs to stay with the front guys. You know, I can go up that hill in four minutes, like four minutes flat a couple times, but not four. So, uh, is that, somebody on Mixer is asking, so what is this game and how do I get it? It's called Zwift. So you can see on your screen on the top right, Zwift. Uh, just go to uh, Zwift.com. All the information you need is there on how to get started. A lot of fun. Ain't nobody has ever been gagging or uh, sweating like this on playing the Wii. That's for sure. So, yeah, great training tool for cyclists, great fitness tool for uh, people that are just trying to get fit. Uh, this was a competitive endeavor here. But there's all kinds of different ways to use Zwift. You can find out more about that on all over the internet. I'm not going to say it, but uh, I am going to say it. Let me Google that for you. Just type Zwift into Google. Check out some of the various sites. There's information all over the place. All kinds of products you can get and try out. So check it out. That's it for me. Zwift Community Live is going to be uh, going up again later today with a commentary broadcast with our own star, Nathan Guerra the uh, legend of Zwift commentary coming on 3 p.m. Eastern, I believe, for the KISS Europe race. If not then, it's at 1.30 Eastern for the ZTR Europe race. Either way, it's going to be an awesome time. Just uh, subscribe, follow us, do all that stuff. Turn on your notifications, you'll know whenever we're live. But that's it for me, Ian Anderson on this KRT KISS racing team racer focus here today we'll be back to see you next tuesday 6 15 eastern all right that's it for me later